everyone and welcome to my Christian Louboutin collection video. If you are a Christian Louboutin lover like me, then this is the video for you. So I'm going to talk a little bit about each shoe, then show you what the shoe looks like on and then show you how I walk in the shoe. Um, I know that some people are wondering why I show how I walk in the shoe and it's so that you can be a judge for yourself. If you were interested in buying those shoes, you can see how comfortable or maybe uncomfortable they would look to you walking in those shoes. Some of them are quite high, some of them are a good size heel, so it helps you make that decision, which is really the purpose of this video, is to help you guys pick Christian Louboutin shoes that you like, or if you're just nosy like me and you like to see other people's collections, then this is the sort of video for you as well. But if a Christian Louboutin collection is what you're here to see, then I would suggest to keep on watching. So the first pair of Christian Louboutin shoes to show you are the Ronaldo, and these are in a hot pink color. All of my Christian Louboutin shoes um, are in a size 38. I find that they run true to size and that's the size that I usually wear. Um, but these are the Ronaldo and they are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Um, the heel isn't too large. I think it's a hundred um, centimetre or a hundred millimetre. I will link all of the heel sizes down below just in case you wanted to check them out. But I have to say, out of all of my Christian Louboutin shoes, these are the most uncomfortable shoes ever. And I think it has to do with how low they are cut down here at the bottom. They have amazing shoe, no, amazing toe cleavage. If that's what you love in shoes, then these are perfect. However, it does make it difficult to kind of grip um, with your toes when you walk. And um, the back isn't exactly high either, which means that sometimes your foot does slip out of them because you don't really have anything to grip on with because as you can see it's only a tiny bit of material that you have here. But when I wear these with an all black outfit and you just see them pop on your feet, um, then I get so many compliments on these shoes and it makes it all worth it. Um, but let's see what they look like on. for quite a while now, well then you know that my favourite Christian Louboutin style of shoe is the Soquette. And the first pair that I'm going to show you are the Soquette in the black patent. Now I do have a full video on this which I will um, pop somewhere on the screen if you want to see a more in-depth review on these. These are my latest pair of Christian Louboutin Soquettes and I absolutely love them. A uh, black pair of Soquettes are just so versatile and they go with nearly every single outfit and I absolutely love these shoes. So Kate are the nude So Kate and I have had these on my wish list for so long. So we're delighted. So we're delighted. 
So I was delighted whenever I got these last summer and I literally lived in them all summer long. They were my summer shoe. Anything white or you know all of those pastel summer colours and you popped on this shoe, it just completed the outfit. And this and my Christian, no, and my Louis Vuitton Pochette Felici, I think it's called. I literally, I, I lived in it, that was my summer and I think that it may be my summer go-to accessories this year as well. Um, but I get so much use out of these and as I've said before, I love the Soakate, I find them so comfortable and they fit me like a glove. So I had to get them, yes these were my second pair of Soakate so I had to get them in the nude as well. of So Kate to show you may be a contender for my favourite pair of Christian Louboutin shoes that I own. Well, these and another pair I'll show you in a minute. But they are the So Kate in uh, Python skin and they are again this kind of hot pink colour. I'll show you in more detail when they're on my foot what the skin looks like but it is this gorgeous, um, as I said, Python skin and it's like this shimmery purple. I love these. Again, I know that sometimes my outfit is really basic, but a pure black outfit uh, with a nice black blazer or a white shirt, black jeans and a black blazer with these shoes, that's just my go-to kind of dinner date outfit. I just absolutely love it. If I had the YSL tuxedo, I would be wearing it with these shoes. I just, I absolutely love them. And these were my first pair of So Kate. These really are the ones that got me addicted to So Kate and I have just worn them to death and have no problem with the skin shedding which kind of makes me feel a bit sick thinking that my shoes would shed but um, I've had no problems at all with the shedding and I absolutely love these. <laughs> This pair of Christian Louboutin shoes are what started the obsession. These are my first pair of Christian Louboutin shoes. They are these lovely little crisscross black suede pumps, well, peep toes, and unfortunately I don't know the name of them. I I really don't. I've tried, I will try, look all over the internet, and if I do find them, I will link them down below. But they are a beautiful shoe, and they started the obsession. They, I don't know if you can see, but even the inside, it is a star shaped kind of cut at the top where that's what they used to do on the first uh, Le Bouton shoes. And they also had the Made in Italy at the back as well. I don't think they do that anymore. But I absolutely love these. I still wear these quite a lot. Um, but I don't know. There's just something that um, is, I don't know. I, I just, I love these. I can't even get my words out. I love these that much. See, I can't even get my words out. I love these that much. There's just something about them. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's see what they look like on.
Unfortunately, with the next pair of shoes, I don't know what they're called, so I'm gonna have a good look on the internet to see what they are called, and then I will link them down below. But they were my second pair of Christian Louboutin shoes. I um, don't even have the box for them anymore because I didn't realize that you should keep the boxes. It took me into my third pair to realize that. Um, but I absolutely love these. These are my kind of peep toes. I think they might be Lady Peep, I'm not sure, but they're in this beautiful blush color, blush pink color of satin um, material. I think that's what it is. I'll try to find out. But I absolutely love these and I got so much wear out of them. I love wearing these to weddings. Um, they just seem to be my wedding shoes but they are so comfy because they have the hidden platform here so they're actually quite a small heel once you take away the platform and I love these, absolutely love these shoes. The next pair of shoes may be the contender for my favourite pair of Christian Louboutin shoes. So I already mentioned that the Python Soquette may be my favourite, but these pony skin, I think that's what they're called, or leopard, well, the leopard skin little peep toes with the red enamel kind of um, bit at the toe have to be one of my favourites. These are so cute. Now, when I first got them, I got them in a 38 and I realised then that they just were too big, they were far too big and the print on them was more of this all over the shoe and then when Christian Bouton sent me, it was Paris at the time, Christian Bouton in Paris had to send me a replacement shoe and they came back and they actually now have like a gradient effect so they go from big fat leopard print spots to then the little tiny ones at the top and I absolutely love them but what I would say is probably the ones that I had before were even nicer if that is even possible but I love these shoes I have got so much wear out of these I love wearing these with a t-shirt jeans and these I just think there's something so desperate housewives about it and um, I absolutely love it I feel really glamorous in it they don't actually have a hidden sole so the platform here is what you get, um, so the platform is quite thin which can make them quite, not difficult to walk in but by the end of the night you can definitely feel that you've been wearing heels. Now the next pair of shoes you may have noticed from my products that I regret buying. I do always mention these and it's not because I regret buying them because at the time I loved them. It's now that I know that they haven't really worn well or not worn well but dated well. And they are the Christian Louboutin Lady Peep. Not that they haven't worn well, they haven't evolved with my fashion. That's what I was looking for. So they are the Lady Peep in this beautiful tan colour. I still love the colour. If I could just remove the platform and the heel height, I would wear these all the time. It's just 
the platform really isn't my style anymore but they are absolutely gorgeous they make your legs look so long um, I'm 5'3 and whenever I wear these I just feel probably how Jordan Dunn or Cara Delevingne feel you know that long lanky limbs or Josephine Sky River all those Victoria's Secret models and all their long limbs I can fake it sometimes when I wear these and um, I, I'm laughing at my own joke how sad is that but I absolutely love these on in the house whenever I stand in front of a mirror but then on a night out I just feel that they're a wee bit I don't know they're just not my style I'm going to give up talking about it now um but if you are interested in these shoes I am selling them on my Depop account so I will link that down below Christian Louboutin collection video. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask me them. If you want to see an individual video of any of these shoes where I go into more depth about the review, what I think of them, then again, please leave that comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It means that I know what type of videos that you guys like and I can continue on making them or know that you don't like them and not make these ones anymore. But thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you in my next one. Bye.